Hey YouTubers, this is my time 34 and I'm bringing you a video of where I took a cheap eBay LED light that I'm going to use for lighting in my office for some of these videos so that hopefully the, the, the video quality is much better and you can see things a lot better. But here I'm taking a bunch of 18650 laptop batteries from all the laptops that I've taken apart over the years um, and I'm going to be making a battery battery pack for this light. Um, with this light and the battery packs, I can unplug the uh, power connector, plug it into my uh, remote control car charger ba or battery chargers. And it's nice as I can charge them at any time and uh, I can make multiple packs. Uh, don't yell at me because of the tools I'm using. Um, I like using pliers for uh, holding small things because I'm tired of burning my fingers, which is basically what I'm doing here. Because uh, unfortunately, over the years, I've burnt many, many a fingertips and uh, it takes forever to heal. But um, like I said, these are 18650 batteries that I'm putting, that I'm using. They're all from laptops. They've all been put on a battery charger, discharged and charged back up. And I put the actual milliamp hour ratings on them after the recharge is completed. Most of these are about 2000 to 2200 milliamp hour batteries. In this particular case, I'm using two in parallel, and then I'm using two in series. Or two, two sets are in parallel, and then I series them together to give me 7.4 volts, which is what the light runs off of. Um, as you can see here, I'm, I'm just soldering some tabs on so that I can combine the, the batteries together. <coughs> it's a little more of a pain than most people realize because you got to try to line them up, get them up, get them together. Um, I am using a Hacko soldering station. It's uh, one of the nicest soldering stations I've ever used. I can change the tips on it. Um, right now I have the fine tip set up. It makes it a lot easier to uh, get into really small spaces. Um, the only reason I'm using, like I said, the 18650s is because I had a bunch of them left over. And I figured might as well just use them and uh, use them with the light. Since they last forever, I am uh, I can charge them up and leave them in my bag. I'm going to be going on a trip to uh, St. Louis for work. And I thought that I might bring this, this with me for some of the um, views that I need to get in these containers that I'll be working on. So I figured I might as well bring something that's portable. And if the batteries die while I'm there, it's no big deal. I'll just charge them up when I get back home. Sorry, most of this is going to be really boring because I'm just doing a bunch of soldering. <coughs> but as you can tell, I have a, what, two, four, six, eight, ten. There's ten batteries there. I have a whole other box full of 18650 batteries. Um, they're really good. They're actually really nice LiPo batteries. I am not putting a... Um, cutoff device in this because I really don't care if I kill the batteries... Um, honestly, the 18650s, I can usually repair them or get them back up to the point where they'll charge back up. Um, unless they're at like zero volts and, and I can't do anything, you know, with them, then I just, you know, I'll recycle them. Um, as you can see here, I really like using scissors to cut wire because you can put just enough pressure on um, to strip the wires. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my God, why aren't you using a pair of wire strippers? Honestly, I don't really care for wire strippers. They never cut perfectly. They never dig in deep enough or they're just so wore out. So scissors work great. Plus, I can I buy these at Costco and, and a four pack. And since these are the, um, the titanium ones, they pretty much last forever. I never have to deal with them failing or, or not being sharp. They, they work great. So here you can see I'll be soldering the ground or the negative lines together. <coughs> I'm not sure if anybody does any soldering, but what I'd highly recommend is you get the tip solder, get solder on the tip first, and then hold that underneath each of the leads, and then put the solder, have the solder melt into the leads or into the wires, and then you'll see they'll actually mold together, and, the, and all the wires, wires will be covered. 
Um, it's hard to get them actually to stay together. So usually what I do is, oh, well, there I kind of burn my fingers because they're kind of just kind of warm. Is I will solder both of the wires at the same time. As long as you've got solder on the tip, you hold the tip against the top of the wires. You'll see that the solder will start to melt and it'll heat up enough of the solder that it'll actually melt the solder on the actual battery tabs. And then with the positive lines, the same thing, except in this particular case, because the wires are so far apart, I need to keep the, I need to solder them separately. Oh, but back to the 18650 battery cutoffs. I know with LiPos, you're supposed to put uh, cutoff devices so that they never go, uh, I think it's below 2.7 volts per cell. And as I said, I really don't care if these batteries die. I've had them in my drawer for a while. I'll throw, I'll take them out and recharge them. Um, but I don't really need a cutoff. The box that's there to the right is a USB charging charging pack that I, or I would say USB charger setup that I made for the Dell Venue 8 Pro. That was my original drawing or my original video that I posted of the, the little board, I finally put it in a container or in a box and, and added a five volt jack to the side. It works good, it's just a little bulky. I might leave it on my desk, but there you can see it plugged the batteries in and the lights actually work, shows the battery charge. The light was really cheap. I wanna say I got the light and the stand was like $33 on eBay. It's nothing spectacular, but what I like about it is because of the way my desk is set up, I don't have a lot of room to put lights. So this way what I can do is put the light, hang the light from underneath my cabinet and point it right down to my desk and then I can get much better lighting, which hopefully during my next couple of repair videos or build videos. <coughs> um, I've been doing this kind of stuff for a really long time. I like building little toys little gadgets. Um, all my friends seem to bring me all their broken stuff. And when stuff is broken and I can't, and I can't actually repair it, I usually take it apart and start using that, that for other things. Um, as you'll see on the back of the, uh, the light, it's really strange. There's a big open cutout. I don't understand why they made it that way, but it actually works out good because I can actually mount the battery through there and it kind of sort of locks into place. I, I added a zip tie. Uh, there's a little tab on the inside. It's hard. You can't see it at, at, unless, unless I zoom in or uh, take a different picture. But there's a little tab that you can fit a zip tie underneath. And it's just enough that it grabs, it allows the battery to stay in there. And when I want to charge it, all I have to do is unplug that computer connector, which I've already made a connector for my charger. I just plug it in. I set it for LiPo, 7.4 volts. And away I go, I just charge. And I do a little little tape job here. I know it's a little in excess, but like once once I said this is a this is my little toy. I'm playing with it, so it's not like I'm mass producing it for other people. Uh, if anybody's wondering, that is the basis peak watch that I have. It's a heart monitor, uh, walking monitor, temperature monitor, take your pick, it does kind of it all. The only reason I, I bought it uh, two years ago is it monitors my heart because I have a heart condition and it has the, one of the best monitoring devices that I've found so far. <coughs> You'll see I keep taping and taping and taping and then there's a little more tape. Now I should be making sure it's all nice and pretty, I guess, or, or my version of pretty. Plug that baby in. I hate these connectors. The only reason I use them is because I have hundreds and hundreds of these connectors left over from builds. But once they're together, they work great. As you can see, it's a super bright light. Um, there is no charge option for this light. Like if I did stick a battery in there, I can't charge it. I could probably modify it, but I figure with the connector, it really doesn't matter to me. Yeah, you got to fit it in there just right also, otherwise it doesn't fit and it'll try to pop back out. That's why I added the zip tie to help hold it in place. 
if you buy one of these cheap LED lights off of eBay, at least here's kind of an idea and shows you how what some of your options are. You can add 18650s to it. You can add small cell phone batteries to the back of the, the cabinet or the, the back of the little box. Um, my, my Like I said, for me, it worked great. I, I had some 18650s left over. And uh, it's a nice little portable device. You know, it's kind of cheap, 30, you know, 30 bucks with the stand, which the stand is like seven feet tall. Um, I will see if I, I, I think I have another video of where I actually added the power connector inside, but really wasn't that big of a deal. I took the cover off and inside there were basically a bunch of positive and, and negative points coming where you can put AA batteries in, where you can put um, camera batteries in there. So all I did is I just soldered the, the two positive cables coming off the power connector um, to one of the, the terminal leads and then the negatives I tied together and, and soldered to the negative terminal leads. Hope you enjoy this video. I'll be trying to make some more here soon. Thank you.